From the News Channel 5 Network, here are your headlines. I'm Carrie Sharp. Hundreds of law enforcement officers continue the search for accused killer Kirby Wallace. He was last spotted in Indian Mound near the Montgomery Stewart County line Monday morning. Police believe he may be heavily armed. Search teams are going door to door within the search perimeter, checking every house and every abandoned building. Wallace is believed to have shot and killed a homeowner yesterday morning, stealing the man's truck. Wallace later crashed it, and officials now believe he's on foot. Wallace is accused of another murder, as well as two violent home invasions. TBI agents plan to continue the search overnight with heat sensing technology. If you see Wallace, call 911 immediately. Bullets fly outside of a popular East Nashville restaurant, leaving one person dead. Metro police say people in two cars began shooting at each other right outside the pharmacy restaurant on McFerrin Avenue. One of the suspected shooters was killed. No one at the restaurant was hurt. Both cars stayed right there at the scene, but police say several suspects ran off. Tennessee's two candidates for governor went head to head in their first debate tonight. Republican Bill Lee and Democrat Carl Dean sparred over education and health care. Lee supports educational vouchers. Dean does not. And while Dean argued for Medicaid expansion, Lee said it's not the answer to our health care issues. Both expressed concerns about the effect of President Trump's tariffs on Tennesseans. The next debate is a week from today. That one will be in Kingsport. Let's check the weather now with meteorologist Bree Smith. Murky conditions expected overnight tonight, but otherwise dry. As we head into the overnight hours, folks that had rain on Tuesday, you'll be the first ones up to see some fog and then those near any of our waterways. So mainly for areas to the northeast, especially along the lake, and then as you extend to the south, there was some pretty good showers across parts of Murray County, Wayne County and Lawrence County. Those, of course, will see some fog. It'll burn off quickly and then we're talking heat wave with a capital H upper 80s near 90 as we head towards Friday and it'll stay that hot this weekend.